Hello everyone, I'm Dragons After Dark, and today we're taking a look at October's trading post pet, Lil KT. We'll be taking a look at its moves and stats, but before we get into that, we'll go over how you can get this pet. Originally, this pet was available in the in-game shop from November 4th, 2009 until January 3rd, 2023. After being retired from the shop, it came up as our October trading post for 2023. This pet will be available until 11.59 p.m. on 31 October for 650 Traders Tender. Blizzard hasn't been very transparent about its intended rotation for the trading post, and there isn't a detectable pattern, if there is one, between old and new pets. That said, with how many old pets they could potentially put up on the trading post and that they keep adding new ones, I'd wager it'll be at least a year before we see Lil KT on the trading post again. Now let's get into Lil KT. His flavor text reads, In life, Kel'Thuzad betrayed the Kirin Tor and created the Cult of the Damned. In death, he serves the Scourge as the Archlich, Lord of Naxxramas. Because of his source as a shop pet, he's not in too many strategies, with most of them being for undead family achievement fights. Being one of the older pets, KT's moveset isn't groundbreaking, but it's not too bad either. There are really only two ways to use this pet, versus Mechanicals with Howling Blast, Siphon Life, and Frost Nova, and versus Humanoids with Shadow Slash, Death and Decay, and Curse of Doom. For Mechanicals, you'll want to use Frost Nova, then Howling Blast, because Howling Blast will get bonus damage from Frost Nova's status effect, Chilled. Then, because both of these abilities have cooldowns, you'll want to fill with Siphon Life until they come off cooldown. As for humanoids, it's pretty obvious, but you'll probably want to use Curse of Doom and Shadow Slash, with Death and Decay being situational. If you're only going to be in for a few rounds, I'd say skip Death and Decay and just Shadow Slash after you have put on Curse of Doom. Once you get into your Undead slash Immortal round, you can choose Death and Decay then if it makes sense for the enemy team's composition, otherwise, you can just Shadow Slash. The closest substitute for Lil KT would be Landro's Lichling, which is identical in every way except its source. Otherwise, an exact substitute for the humanoid attack set would be the Lost of Lordaeron, Tiny Apparition, Void Wiggler and Lesser Void Caller with Shadow Shock instead of Slash, and Necrofin Tadpole with Skull Toss instead of Shadow Slash. For the mechanical attack set substitutes, they'll have Frost Nova and Howling Blast in separate slots, but you will need to pick a non-cooldown ability for the third one, and those would be the Snow Lamental, Frigid Frostling, Tiny Snowman, and Mr. Bigglesworth. Now for Lil KT's stats. His stats at 25 are 1627 health, 305 power, and 227 speed. This puts his breed as health power, given his moveset, that he's an undead pet and gets an extra round, and as long as your enemies don't have defensive moves like dodges or blocks, Lil KT being slower isn't a detriment here. In fact, the higher health and power pair very nicely with his moves and family type. You have more health to stave off your undead round, and more power to throw behind your cooldown abilities. Overall, Lil KT's moves are good for family battler type battles, though you'll likely find more easily accessible pets with similar enough movesets that he's not essential. What really makes him shine is his unique model and animations. Warcraft Pets reports that he will cackle and occasionally freeze other critters, his head periodically detaches and spins around, and he will cackle at vanquished PvP foes and certain NPC bosses. But what do you think? Did you purchase Lil KT from the store? And if not, will you grab him from the trading post before he rotates out? If you do have him, is he a favorite for battles or to have him summoned? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you for stopping by and happy battling!